Tribe is supposed to be about vegans and how we live our wonderful vegan lives. However, it is towards the end of December, and it's rather cold out. And since I'm spending a lot of my time baking and going to parties with family and friends, I figured I would film one of my vegan creations for you. The beginning of the month is my mom's birthday on December 9th, and I was trying to figure out what I was going to make for her for her birthday, what, what kind of cake I would make. So I went down to the supermarket, I had to pick up some ingredients, and I happened by this end display of chocolate-covered mint Oreo cookies. And I said, that is the cake I want to make. So what we've got is a basic two-layer chocolate cake with mint frosting inside and on the top. And then the entire cake is smothered in chocolate ganache. So I'll give you the ingredients as I go along and show you part of the process. Okay, so we're preheating our oven to 325. We're going to use two 9-inch cake pans. Uh, these are T-Fall. I know some of you might be against the whole, you know, T-Fall thing with the chemicals and whatnot that they use. But this cake is for work, and you should see some of the stuff these people eat. So, I don't think a little t falls in our room. Our dry ingredients have already been stirred together nicely, and they are... One and a half cups of flour. A half a cup of cocoa powder. One and a half cups of sugar. One teaspoon of salt. One and a half teaspoons of baking soda and two-thirds teaspoon baking powder. To the dry mixture, we add one and a half cups of soy milk and a quarter cup plus one tablespoon of applesauce. After that's all mixed, pour equal amounts into your two pans and put it in the oven and bake for 30 minutes. The cakes are done. The smell of chocolate is just wafting through the house. We'll edge the cakes with a butter knife, and after they cool a little bit, we'll turn the pans over on the cooling racks, and they'll fall right out of those tea fall pans in no time. Now to start with the icing, one of my favorite resources for frosting and icing is the Vegan Cupcakes Take Over the World by Issa Chandra Moskowitz and Terry Holt Romero. Uh, a good little book for uh, cupcakes, cakes, and frosting. So on page 73 is the ingredients for your mint icing, which is a quarter cup of non-hydrogenated shortening. And since I use the Earth Balance shortening sticks, what I like to do is mash up the shortening in the bowl before I add anything else uh, to really get it to a working consistency. To that, we're going to add three cups of confectioner sugar. And if you have lumps in it, it's a good idea that you sift it. A quarter cup plus one tablespoon of soy milk or soy, soy creamer. I'm going to be using soy milk. It recommends that you add a teaspoon and a half of mint extract plus a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now, when I did the original cake and I did a teaspoon and a half, it really came out more like a peppermint patty cake. It was uh, pretty minty, still quite tasty because you have the chocolate ganache on top of that. Um, but I wanted to make it less minty this time, more like a mint Oreo cookie or like a mint Girl Scout cookie. Be sure to alternate your ingredients, adding just a little bit of the soy milk and the powdered sugar at a time so that your ingredients don't stiffen up too much and you keep a pretty consistent batter going. While I clean the dishes, I like to place the cake in the refrigerator uh, to cool down before we enrobe it in the chocolate ganache. Now for the ganache, we take a quarter cup of our Earth Balance buttery sticks, along with a little less than three quarters cup of soy milk, put that in the microwave for two minutes, and then stir in our bag of chocolate chips until well dissolved. I'm going to spoon the ganache over the top and cover that first. And when we start to drop the chocolate for the sides, use your spoon to pat it up so that your cake will be completely enrobed in the chocolate. Before I began editing this installment, I remembered that I wanted to give a shout out to three of my favorite vegan cookbook authors who have been inspiring with their simple and delectable recipes. Uh, the first, of course, is Veganomicon by Issa Chandra Moskowitz and Terry Hope Romero. 
And for the sweet tooth is The Joy of Vegan Baking by Colleen Patrick Goudreau. Two, I think, of the most essential cookbooks to have in your collection right now. Great stuff. So, enjoy!